Hi everyone, it's Phil Frost from Main Street ROI. And today, one of our ad analysts is going to share a Google Ads tip to instantly improve your ad strength. That means Google will give you more ad impressions, more people will click on your ads, and you'll drive more leads and sales. So now I'm going to let Riley show you how it's done. Hey, this is Riley from Main Street ROI, and I just wanted to take a moment to share a quick tip for optimizing your Google Ads search campaigns. So this tip specifically has to do with inserting locations into your ad copy. So um, a good example or good use case for this um, type of tool would be someone who has a service area. So, you know, if, if you provide a service and, you know, there's a lot of different cities within that service area, like a radius um, or a few different counties, then this would be a good tip for your search campaigns. So I am in a demo account right now. This is not actually a real account. And um, I just put together this example ad. So um, for this example, I just looked up, um, randomly chose Pittsburgh, and I just found a, a house painting company in Pittsburgh that probably has something similar to this. They have a service area. And um, typically um, what I've seen in, in accounts that I've audited is that people who have service areas may have in a, in a search ad like this, where there's multiple different headlines, they'll have a separate headline for each city that they service. And while that works, there's a much more efficient way to do this, and it's pretty easy to set up. So let's jump in. So I'm just gonna edit it right here. And this is a, a responsive search ad, so there's gonna be a lot of different headlines that we can, ha that we can add up to 15. Um, and so, yeah, so I would see something like, you know, house painter, Pittsburgh, house painter, whatever, neighboring city. Um, but there's a better way to do this. So if we type in just a squiggly bracket, then you'll see three options come up. So this is the one we're interested in, location insertion. So if we click on that and type in Pittsburgh and hit apply. So this is just saying that um, the default text, if for whatever reason, Google cannot insert the city for where that person is searching from, then by default, we're just gonna say Pittsburgh. And we can choose state or county as well. So that's what this looks like. It looks kind of kind of funky. You know, we've got, uh, you know, brackets and it looks kind of confusing, but as you can see, super easy to set up. And uh, I just want to preface this. This is not going to work. It's not going to look like it, it works correctly because this is not a real account. So um, you'll just have to take my word on this. And luckily, you can test it. So what I do is when I add this, I'll typically click this little pin icon here to pin it to usually just the first position. So what that, what that tells Google is that for the examples here, um, you know, we want to we want to see this headline in the first position here. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's pulling up some international locations, but um, the service area is set to Pittsburgh. So, um, so yeah, I would test this out and make sure it works, but you can cycle through, make sure that all of the cities that are showing up here are within your service area. And, um, and it's a real easy way to just have Google just dynamically insert the location for the user. Um, Google loves this because anything that makes the experience more relevant for the user is um, is exactly what Google is trying to achieve. So the more relevant, the more um, dynamic we can make our ads, the more Google is going to favor our ads and, um, you know, give us a high ad rank. So you can just do what I did here where, where you just add the, um, the dynamic location insertion just to this headline, and that's just the whole headline. Um, and in addition to that, you can insert um, you can insert this as part of a phrase. So if I did house painter in and then squiggly bracket, now I can create a phrase like that. So we're going to see what this looks like. So yeah, so again, with the, the international locations, um, 
but you know you shouldn't see this if if you have a real account that's actually running ads and you have location targeting set up correctly you should not see that um, but as you can see there's a now a phrase so house painter in and then the location is being inserted here dynamically so yeah super super easy quick tool um as you can see the ad strength went up so google's google's liking this um this is not something i ever see in accounts that i audit and it really is such a shame because it's so easy to set up and um you know makes it a much more relevant user experience so please go out and try this if you have any questions please reach out to us and i'll talk to you guys later